It may sound silly, but I feel I design my gloves from the heart. So there's a little story behind every glove. This glove here is called the Anastasia. The detail here is on the darts, which give it a better fit on the hand. My Chloe glove. There's a little button at the wrist, which makes it very flattering on the hand. The detail on the Sofiana is the contrast in the cuff. The Holly glove beige versus the purple. Contrast between each of the fingers. This glove here is known as the Montserrat glove and it's a classic opera length glove. Dame Helen Mirren wore my gloves last year when she was going to the British Comedy Awards. I thought she looked fantastic. She's a wonderful dresser and she always looks so, so stylish. And this year when she was going to the Hitchcock premiere, I got a phone call again to say that she'd like to wear more of my gloves. So I was delighted over that. Ronnie Wood from the Rolling Stones. He has my studded cuff gloves, which are now known as the Ronnie Wood glove. Italy is the home of glove making, and this is a tradition which has been honed over the years. When I go to a factory, I get the smell of leather again, which I find wonderful. When I first went to one of the factories that I deal with in Naples, I couldn't believe the fact that there were 12 people standing in the factory, that there was actually somebody there stretching the leather out. Then somebody else pulled out a measuring tape and they're measuring the exact length of the piece of leather. Everything is hand done. I live out here by the sea. This is my home, which is where my studio is as well. Often if I get a mental block or can't think, I'll go and walk by the sea. I love books and I love objects. I find that I'm inspired by everything and anything. So I always have a little book in my bag, which is filled with notes or colours or swatches or photographs. So really my mind never stops working. <laughs> my attitude is when people say no, if you have the right idea and you have a dream, you follow it. You do what you feel is right. I love gloves. I love leather. I've done my research and my heart was really behind this brand and I felt there was a need, there was a market there. I have a boutique here in Dublin city centre in Ireland and what essentially started out as a brand for my own shop is now something that I want to bring to the international market but to do so will take an injection of cash to produce enough gloves to meet this demand. When I go into the shop in the morning time and I see fingerprints <laughs> on the windows, I know that people have been peering in and looking at the gloves like candy in a window. When I reach my target, I'm going to do exactly as I'm doing right now, but on a larger scale. Producing gloves, which are so beautiful that they'll always be treasured. I'll continue to produce my gloves in Italy, always using the finest quality leathers and overseeing every material that's chosen. I'll always be more concerned about perfection and the finish on the glove as opposed to the profit. And I will always want to sign my name to the gloves irrespective of how large this brand becomes because I've designed the gloves and I put my heart into them. They're not just a glove, they're a little work of art. I need these funds to bring my gloves to the global market, a market that I feel is ready for them. I'd really appreciate it if you'd give me a hand.